Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of It's About Everything. So in today's episode, I'm going to clean this hot air blower, and then I'm going to find out the problem why it does not heat up. So let's get going. So I have a few options of cleaning this, and some of those are as follows. But first of all, I'm going to use the most uh, used cleaning technique which is using a brush painting brush and then I'm going to remove as much dust and dirt as possible after that I'm going to use a normal dry cloth to wipe out as much dust as possible and then I'm going to use a damp cloth not wet but damp I'm going to squeeze the cloth as much as possible after dipping it in water and then I'm going to clean it. So right now I'm wiping it with a dry cloth. So this is the damp cloth that I was talking about. So all the dust and dirt is removed now and it's completely clean make sure the cloth is not too much wet so let's open it and see inside now I'm pretty much sure that the heating element is gone on the blower head but still I want to check out so it has four screws on each side so the interior is very much clean because it does not have any ventilation holes and that's why no dust and dirt could get in so it's a simple blower pump air pump and then a circuit that controls the oscillation inside this pump and the heating so this pump is mounted on four dampers rubber dampers so that the vibration does not come out and you can see all the rubber tubings and all so this is the circuit you can see there is a transistor a couple of other components and a connector the wire is directly soldered into the connector there is no jack to connect on it okay so I'm going to see whether this connector has 220 volt output or not so I removed the fiberglass sleeve and used a piece of paper to separate both the wires so you can see it's working it's pumping air so now I'm going to use multimeter and test out the voltage so you can see it gives 224 to 20 volts so I can say it's correct it's working but the soldering is not in good shape so I'm going to resolder it resolder these wires So I'm going to strip both the wires and then apply a little bit of solder and then I can reconnect it. Although this is not necessary but still I don't want to take any chances so I'm reconnecting, resoldering all the connections that goes into the heating element in the blower head.
so there goes the fiberglass sleeve and now I'm resoldering it now I'm going to open the lower head and see what's the condition of the heating element so first I need to open this nozzle in the tip and the screw is really jammed I applied all the techniques that I could and finally it was open So I need to change this screw because this screw is completely rusted and the nozzle appears jammed. Okay, so finally it's out. So you can see how much rust it has inside. So if I want to reuse this nozzle, I'm going to need a good screw to connect it okay so I'm going to open these screws on the handle and see what's inside so first of all I'm going to remove this pipe this rubber hose which actually delivers the air and also the wires which provides power to the heating element okay so you can see it's sealed with hot glue from inside and this is not the right place to use hot glue because the tip heats up and this hot glue will melt and it did melt it when I was working with it before I saw something was leaking out that time I didn't knew but now I know that was the hot glue that was melting so it was a cheap blower that's for sure you can see this is the heating element and it's broken in the middle it disconnected so a good heating element does not looks like this element it's totally different I will show you later so this is the old heating element and I bought a new one so this is the new heating element it cost about uh, 50 rupees if you try to buy it on amazon it will be about 250 rupees or 260 rupees but on the local market i was able to find it uh, with uh, 50 rupees only so this is the nozzle head and you can see inside there is a ceramic insulation so this element was fitting tight so I was thinking to sand a little bit so that it slides in easily and while I was sanding the interior part of that pipe the ceramic got cracked but it will work it does not short out it will work for now and the heating element slides in smoothly so that problem is solved so there is a connector with this heating element and I had to remove the connector because there was no female connector on the other end so I'm going to directly solder it and then I'm going to use this fiberglass sleeves to insulate it so the resistance of this coil is about 84 82 ohms which is about 600 watts I believe 1 to 20 volt So it's time to solder the wires. Okay, so finally it's done. Now I'm going to put back the cover and give it a test. So I have removed all the hot glue that was applied previously from the factory inside I've removed all of that and if there is an air leakage I'm going to use 
uh, electrical tape or cello tape from the outside to seal the air leakage which I'm sure it will be from the gaps where both the covers meet up so now with the continuity tester setting I'm going to test for short circuit and whether the coil is connected properly or not so I went back to the previous place where I've soldered two wires and I'm testing the resistance so you can see it's 83.2 ohms which is the resistance of the heating element and it's not connected with the outer metal tube so the installation is still keeping on okay so now I'm going to test it so while I was testing it I realized that the heat control knob it was not working while I was turning it up and down the heat was constant so I realized why the previous heating element burned that's because the heat adjuster knob was not working Pro probably uh, the transistor that I showed you earlier in that section is not working properly or it's it has gone bad so I need to replace the transistor so that's the primary reason why the coil is burned because while I was thinking that the heating was on low setting at the minimum setting but you can see the coil is glowing red hot so which means it's on its full capacity so and the indicator just blinks when you turn on the blower the indicator just blinks it does not shows that whether the power is reduced or increased onto the heating head so that's a problem so that's a thumbs up as it's working perfectly but I need to rework on the heating adjuster knob as well so that's for another video so stay tuned I hope you enjoyed this video hit the like button share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new so thanks a lot for watching i'll see you soon have a nice day take care bye bye